every single American. And, but uh, they, they will look at this and say, this stinks. The, the former president goes to uh, Kazakhstan in 2005, stands up next to Nazarbayev and says extraordinarily wrong things about his human rights record and is rewarded with a $130 million contribution from the guy who gets the uranium contracts. Uh, Ron, you talk. Yeah, you talked recently about the, quote, seedy side of the Clinton Foundation. What do you find seedy about it? Well, I wrote what, the first story back in February that this was stupid and seedy. It's stupid politically because she's putting herself in a position where people can't trust her. And it's seedy because of the obvious, at the very least, uh, perceptions of a conflict of interest. You don't have to be a conspiracy, conspiracy theorist here, Chris, to know that the foreign companies hope to buy influence. You don't have to be a lawyer to know that they violated ethics laws. You don't have to be a historian to know that they have a history of having an ethical blind spot, they being the Clintons. And you don't have to be a political scientist to know that this really undermines the trust that we can have in her as a potential president, and if she becomes president, our, the trust we can have in the leader of our government. This is very bad politics. This is very bad governance. All right, we have to take a quick break.